thanks for having us. This one goes out to all the commanders out there. It's called victory. I hope you all like it. One, two, three, let's kick it.
Good afternoon or good morning, good evening, wherever you are, everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, as we get started here, in a minute, I'm going to be joined by um, a new friend of mine, uh, Jerry Ferris, or Commander Gracchus. Um, Jerry is a disabled gamer, and so that's primarily what we're going to be talking about today, um, about his abilities, um, about what got him into a lead, about how he plays a lead, about voice attack, um, pretty much everything around that. So welcome. Um, I I don't have any of my moderators with me just yet, so if so, it's going to be a little tough for me to maybe see some chat, but I'm looking forward to your questions. Cement, my friend, thank you as always. Uh, you're, you're, you're becoming too kind to me with this, my friend. Um, but yeah, if you as you guys have questions, I hope that you will engage and let me, um, Jerry was deploying into his SRV, let me bring Jerry into the conversation. And Jerry, I've got you live with everybody. If you can do, tell everybody a hi and, and a stream, if you guys can confirm you've got voices, if volumes are okay, that would be great. So, Jerry, how are you doing? Fan well, thank you for joining me. Um, as I've said to a lot of folks, um, I've really been looking forward to this conversation. It's a it's a subject I'm really fascinated by. Um, it's something like a lot of us, you know, I've I've always wanted to try to get more involved with, and you know, in terms of you know doing things to enable you know gamers like yourself to be able to get into the into games in general and specifically into Elite. Um, and so, um, as we start here, why don't we start with um, why don't you give us a little introduction about your yourself, just kind of maybe your bio, because I know you've got a presence on the web. Um, and, um, you know, we'll talk about what your abilities and disabilities are, and we'll go from there. Oh, and hold on. So Stream's telling me they can't hear you yet. This is why we do this. Great. Let's try that now. Say something again for me, Jerry, and let's make sure you guys can hear him. All right. How's that? Can you hear me okay? I think that's probably gotten okay, it. So one, let's two. make sure that that's true. Um Black Raven, I, I see you're on Twitch. Something here on my menu anyway. Okay, Hang yeah, there's one second. Okay, great, great. There's a little bit of a delay. Okay, all good Thank now, you. they say. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Um, that's why we that's why we do a little pre check Press at the escape. beginning. And if you guys hear Jerry, he's he's using voice attack to control the game at the moment. So um, and in a minute I'm gonna bring up his screen with mine. So this is gonna be much more podcast like this time guys you know we're not going to really be doing any gameplay because of what we're talking about however we're, we're going to do what we've been doing in the last couple streams is i'll show my screen and jerry's screen um in fact i'll go ahead and go to that split screen now um so you guys can see you know what jerry's able to do you know with everything he's built for himself which is uh, already the the 30 minutes we've been spending with him flying out of the station and coming down and joining me at a planned it is is already blowing my mind so relinquish controls all right now it's working okay great great so let's start where we were a second ago jerry why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself um you know where you are on the web that kind of stuff and then we'll we'll get into this well i i am a 48 year old uh disability i have disability called uh sma spinal muscular atrophy um, basically, it progresses as you get older. There was a time when I could actually play a game by putting my hands on the computer and operate like most other people. Um, but for now, I can only use my thumbs, and that's enough to operate a mouse um, through my wheelchair joystick system. And I've got access to two buttons, which is my right and mouse right and left mouse button and no keyboard yeah okay and so uh, you know you you talked about the fact that this is degenerative if i'm understanding right um and yes. that there was a time at which you were certainly more able than you are now at what point did i guess the question would be at what point did you lose maybe control of your hands and the ability to control you know a keyboard or a traditional joystick right. and mouse yeah that kind of thing well, back in the 90s, uh, probably 94, I was really big in the games back then. There was Doom, which was a, a big game I played, and okay. I could use my hands. Okay, great. To that play was the keyboard. one of my early games, too. And well, <laughs> well, my first online multiplayer game was Half-Life. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. We're going to have a lot in common because that was one of my <laughs> very, very first. It's still to this day, one of my all time favorite games for, for some of you younger guys that have maybe not played half-life before it absolutely still holds up, especially with the mods today. Cause you can make it look rather pretty oh, yeah. again. Um, it's a phenomenal series. Uh, I can't, personally, I can't wait for half like Alex, um, the, the VR title that's coming out here in the next couple months. Um, yeah. I've heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was probably the last online game i actually played okay uh up until we leave okay uh because back then you know i i couldn't use my hands for that i started using dragon naturally speaking okay that was another one i was going to ask you about for sure primarily everything in windows my, my buddy rogan for he uh he told me about elite and we were big fans of babylon 5 and sci-fi shows of the of that like but and i watched all the youtube videos and said you know one day i'm gonna really get into this game and he told me about voice attack and I, uh, at that i downloaded it read the documentation and purchased it straight off the bat because i saw the potential we could have me a window you know, just operate and navigate in Windows. It's it's a great piece of software. Yeah, I think you mentioned to me that you'd been using you at this point. You've been using Voice Attack for what about five years? Is that right? About five years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and I, did you originally? It, it sounded like what you were saying. You originally started using Voice Attack just for just for running your computer, right? Not really about yes. gaming or anything else, but just. To, and was it? Were you able to pretty much an, immediately replace Dragon or? Was there a time where you kind oh, of used yeah. both? No, I still use both today. You do? Okay. Dragon is really great for dictation. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, and basic Windows stuff. But for for specialized things, uh, voice attack is the bomb. Isn't it <laughs> amazing that a $20 piece of software... Uh, you know, yeah. is is so incredibly powerful, and I think a lot of people have a you know don't understand you know, gamers especially and elite players especially look at voice attack as an add on for elite when uh, that couldn't be farther from the truth. It's you know it's no. a voice control app for your computer that you can make do anything. In fact, I use voice attack, but I don't use it for voice input at all. I just use it as a macroing engine. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And folks, another thing just to point out, uh, a few technical things we have here. Um, so Jerry's got fairly low bandwidth, so his screen is going to be, actually, it's pretty nice right now, actually. But you might see some some not great quality there. We're, you're also going to hear, and we're getting a little bit right now, you'll hear a little bit of echoing. Um, and that's just because Jerry's not able to use or not using headphones. And so you'll, if you hear my voice echoing back a little bit, for, forgive us. That's just a little bit of the of the technical challenges we're facing here so right um so okay so when we talk about voice attack um you obviously you didn't use exactly. a custom built-in profile right this was a lot of stuff you wrote yourself is that right exit okay there it goes yeah, yeah no actually when i first got elite um i knew i was gonna have to have voice attack i mean that was just part of it and my knowledge with voice attack already gave me several ideas. And I remember sitting in the hangar for five days without ever taking off. Just because it took that long to put together a subset of commands that would allow me to do that. <laughs> but the first thing I did is I bought the HCS voice pack. And I used it for about two weeks. And it's it's great. I don't want to I don't want to put it down at all. But for someone like me, it's very lacking. So that's when I decided just to put it to the side. And I was just going to develop my own profile. Okay. And with okay. that, I would have the ability to actually operate joystick movements, which is something you know HCS does not offer at all. 
and so yeah so let so are you yeah okay so we'll get we'll get more into the specifics of you know what you're doing with um you know with the specifics of voice attack here in just a little bit um let's talk let's go back a little bit more and you know we were kind of talking about what you got into elite and stuff we talked about what's you know some of your other games are there any other games that you play um right now right is is elite your only game are there other games that you're able to play this is it okay okay i really don't have a lot of time to play games um this was kind of my guilty pleasure (laughs) but really i i just i've not been in the game for so long and it's unless they were mouse driven like i play alert command but as far as a true first person perspective online multiplayer game I don't expect I'll be playing anything else. Elite is just amazing. Well, and what, you know, as we talk about Elite specifically, what got you into Elite? The sci-fi effect. Yeah, okay. I mean, like I said, I'm big fans of Babylon 5, and, you know, I grew up in the 80s. I'm 48 now, so, you know, something like this is like a dream come true for that children of the 80s. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I'm obviously right there with you. I'm clearly a big fan of the game. What originally, you know, what originally did you, uh, like, how did you learn about the game? Oh, my buddy Rogue Infidel. Okay. We've been knowing each other since 96. I used to run a computer business back then, and he was a customer of mine, and we became good friends. And we played Command and Conquer together. We played Half-Life together. So then about, like I said, five years ago, he told me about this, and he was beta testing for it. And it just took me a long time to actually decide, okay, now's the time. I'm ready to get into it. I've, I've been looking at going to dig in and see what it's like. And what is your, you know, let's talk a little bit more about, in a minute, I, I do want to get to kind of the nitty gritty little nuts and bolts of how you do things, but what what type of gameplay, you know, what kind of gameplay do you really enjoy, you know, and that is your favorite stuff to do, and then what is maybe things that you do that are more challenging, and then what's the gameplay that you kind of stay away from? Golly, I really don't do much gaming at all. Well, I mean, in Elite Not specifically. Anymore. Like, what kind of playing in Elite do you do? Like, in other words, you do exploration okay. or combat or, you know, or, or mining well, I'm or not trade. Well, i combat, but I really like exploring. Okay. I love driving the SRV. Uh, I like, the only kind of missions I've ever done is uh, courier missions and passenger missions. Okay. Which is, you know, not all that great, but I look forward to getting into the engineers and learning how to upgrade the ship and all that, but I, I just love flying. Yeah, okay. And you talked about the the you know, driving the SRV around and you know and obviously we're here on the planet. And so for mission wise, do you did I hear you right that you pretty much stay away from the mission board or do you find things on the mission board? Like do you mostly do trade things, that kind of stuff? I have only done passenger transportation. Okay. And courier missions. I uh, every okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of afraid to do uh, commodity because if I get if I get uh, uh, interdicted, I'm screwed. Well, uh, you know, it's okay. That's actually a very good point. Um, and, you know, maybe that's something that I could help you with later and, and go through some of the techniques that you would use if you were to get interdicted. Um, we talked earlier on, um, you know, we mentioned, or you mentioned to me that you clearly don't have the Guardian FSD booster yet, um, which is something right. I hope one of these nights um, that you and I can get together and I can personally help you, uh, you know, fly out with you, wing up with you and help you earn that one because it's That'd be it, great. Yeah, it's really, I don't. Don't think it would be beyond what you're doing certainly because you're since you aren't able to drive the srv that's the hardest part um i think having somebody to help you during the combat part of it because you know you get you do get attacked by um, the guardian sentinels but certainly myself and mm. we can even get some of our squadron guys to come help um and um i'm guessing then also as part of that you probably haven't done any engineering then too is that right 
No, I have never done any engineering. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, really, I I think specifically for the way you like to enjoy the game, I don't think it's something that you would even have to do, um, especially by getting the Guardian FSD booster, because just that alone would add 10 light years of jump range to your ASP. Um, and mm. with some with some different outfitting on the ASP, too, we could probably up your range quite a bit. Um, and before we started, guys, his ASP has only got to 25 light year range at this point. So we we should easily be able to get that to 30, if not 35. Um, do you have like well, how much do you have for credits at the moment? Well, I was gifted some credits. That's very nice. Uh, yeah. A while back, I've yeah. got right now just over nine million. Nine million is that what I heard? Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Yeah, and I think one of the things we could do too is um, is do do some more of that and and help get you some credits so that you could you know, potentially buy a couple of other ships even, and maybe have like some specific ships for specific tasks. Right? Is the Asp your only ship at this point? No, I have two others. Okay, what do you have? I have a dolphin, which I've really fitted for passenger transport. And okay. then I have a Type 6 that uh, I have equipped for mining. Okay. Even though I've not really done some mining yet, I've just not watched Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's it's interesting you say that. Um, I put out a video this morning on laser mining, um, which would be the kind of thing you could do in a wing. Um, you know, and really the way it works, even you would be able to send out your collector limpets. And to a large degree, even if you were struggling with targeting and firing and, and mining yourself, just having your collectors out, picking up the things that people are also picking up for you. I right? It's it's right. really I think it would be really fun for you potentially to try that in a wing because you can work together. Right. Um, and, exactly. quick, and quickly, I just want to point out to on YouTube, I did start a little giveaway a second ago. I see that a lot of you guys are registering for it already. Um, it's for the Crate Mark II, the Frontier Crate Mark II, so something that you only can get um, um, through a competition. Um, and so the way you guys will enter is um, exclamation point Jerry. So if you guys will, I see that a good number of you guys have done, you guys, excuse me, you guys have done that. So if you guys can enter, we'll run that for about, oh, it's got a little over 11 minutes to go. And I'm going to use some voice commands myself. Alexa, set a timer for 11 minutes. Um, I found it really interesting here at the beginning as we were getting started that as Jerry's talking to his computer, well, you know what? I'm sitting here doing the exact same thing, right? <laughs> um, another quick thing to point out, I, I understand you guys are hearing a little bit of echo from Jerry. I, I hope you'll bear with us. It's just the reality of the way we're set up right now. Um, and if you hear the little beeps in the background, that's Jerry's um, wheelchair. Is that right, Jerry? That's your joystick that we're hearing? That's right. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and, and from time to time, Jerry may need to take a little break from us. Again, Jerry, if you need to do that, just, you know, I, as everybody knows, I'm good to fill time and talk. So <laughs> I don't think we'll we'll have to worry too much. Um, We're good. And of those ships, what's your favorite um, between the ones you've flown? My story right now is my favorite. Yeah, and why is that? What do you like about it better? Uh, well, it's faster than the other. It only has about eight, I think about eight right there, jump. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's so and I actually used. I think I used one of your videos to to soup up this one, the Explorer. Okay. Um, and of course it's got the FMV, so it's what I end up flying most of the time. Well, you know, as I, for the longest time, certainly up until the Crate Mark II came out, you know, it's it's easily the most versatile ship in the game. The, the Crate Mark II and Phantom have unseated it a little bit from its throne. Um, but, because it used to be, I would say, if I could only have two ships, it would be the Asp Explorer and the Vulture. Um, and now it's basically, if I could only have one ship, it would be the Crate Mark II. Um, just, you know, yeah. it's it's so versatile. But it's also a lot more expensive than the Asp. You know, you're in the if I remember right, the hundred ish at least million dollar range once it's outfit where the ASP is more yeah. you know, more in the twenty ish million dollar range, right? Right. Um and so how long have you been playing Elite? If I'm right, you started about a year ago okay. or so. Exit. Yep, go right ahead. Every time I say right, oh like I got gotcha. you. Right. I got gotcha. you. Hey, okay, that's great. Uh, but yeah, how long have you uh, been playing Elite? Question? Yeah, how long have you been playing Elite? Uh, just for about two months. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I yeah. had in my head, it had been, I, wow. Somehow I got that you'd been playing elite for about a year. So wow, you are really new to the game. Wow. then. That's really the main reason. 
I haven't done a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes completely um, sense now. Because I kept having in my head I it was a year. The program, like the uh, FSF mapping and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, it took me a week just to nail down commands to operate that. I, I can imagine, right? And again, Chad, I do have you guys open. So if you guys have got questions for Jerry as we're talking, right? Um, and Maniac, one of our moderators just jumped in. Afternoon, Maniac. How are you? Afternoon, sir. How you doing? Uh, great, great. So if you see a question in chat, Maniac, that I miss, I see Zadori is here as well. If you guys see something that I miss that's, you know, that's a good question, um, please, you know, shout out to us. Um, and again, chat, if you guys have questions for Jerry, by all means, toss it in. I see Billups in chat as well. Um, Billup, I'm going to DM you here in just a second at um, Jerry's, um, uh, Jerry's website if you want to share that from time to time um, in chat. That would be great. Um, and so let's now jump into and talk a little bit about nitty gritty of of how you play um and so you know you've you've obviously written did you did you start with a base voice attack script like one of the the voice packs or anything or did you just go all by yourself well i actually went and looked around all over the net and tried to find the most advanced script i could um and there's a lot of them out there that mm-hmm. were about four years old that i thought were better than some of the ones that were newer but I started with basic and I just started building and replacing what was there with things that were better uh, and just kind of went from there. Yeah. Okay. And, and so did you, so really you've only been doing that for the last two months as well, right? I mean, you pretty much got That's started right. with the game, started writing the scripts. And I assume this is an ongoing part of your gameplay that it's, uh, it's probably a lot of gameplay and a lot of working with voice attack. Is that right? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. There's there's more programming than gameplay right now. Sure, sure. As you get, yeah. I, you know, it's funny, like, thinking about that, it's almost like your kind of programming worth of voice attack is the same as when we're engineering, you know, and doing mm-hmm. things like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So why don't you show us a little bit of what you do? So how about you... Oh, somebody just... Oh, somebody just came to join us. Let's... I'm hoping that's one of us here. Let me let me jump out of voice, see who that is that's over next to us. Why don't you um, drive around a bit with us and show us? Okay. Yeah, show us a little bit. In fact, why don't you plan to follow me, and I'm going to drive us over to the, the – there's kind of looked like there was a ridge over here that we could kind of look over. So why don't you follow okay. me this way? 10%. Turn right. 10%. Stop. Turn left. Turn left. Well, I might as well stay. <laughs> Just keep turning right. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Where is it? My you, mic is actually picking me up twice. I, I'm hearing that so just, I'm just a little bit. My mic down. You do what you need to do. That's great. Exegesis, you're also... I'll stop. Say that again, Maniac? You're I'll back stop. Eating. I didn't catch that still, Maniac. Wake up. Press escape. Go to sleep. I thought I had my mouse turned off on here, but I guess I don't. Oh, take your time. Give me one second. I'm finding this fascinating, just seeing how you're doing all this as well. And Maniac, was there something that you were trying to catch? I sent you a DM. Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Travis. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's what I did. I turned the wrong thing off. Damn it. I wish I'd have caught that earlier. Sorry, guys. I've had it say IMAX's view, which is my last guest. Um, it's not. I, it's only the second time I've done this split view. So sorry about that, everybody. Ten percent. And I might have had an echo going on with my mic. Let's see if that's if it's what's echoing back through Jerry. There's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. But if there was some other I echo can going on, down a little bit. That Don't might help. Though. Yeah, if you can, that might help. No, you. I think I'll you're good. Stop. Okay, cool, cool. And we well, did have a question, Jerry. Well, I'll, I'll wait to get to that. Hang on one second, oh, man. That's okay. This is all what I was wait interested up. in. Press escape. 
go to sleep. Yeah, it's not. There's something wrong with my my driving settings, and it's not letting me have control of my mouse in the game. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Again, uh, this is this is what I wanted to see, right? This is uh, how you live with the game. Maybe uh, let me turn it. Well. And guys on chat, if I see somebody saying bot hates me, feels bad, um, sometimes it takes the bot just a little bit to respond that you've been registered. So so don't worry too much if you're seeing that. All of a sudden, it'll sp spit through. Relinquish controls. Relinquish controls. Enable handbrake. All stop. Hang on. Don't be wake up. Don't be in a hurry. Mouse right click. Hey, gentlemen, Thomas Parker has a question. I just was I was just about to bring that in. Thanks, MD. Yep, I'm just waiting for him to kind of get settled here for a second, and then I'm gonna ask that exact question. Okay, I turned you down on Discord. Okay. So maybe it won't interfere so bad now. That's great. All right. Release handbrake. Okay. 20%. All right. I'm behind you. Take okay, off. great, great. Uh -oh. well, yep. <laughs> there we <Okay>. go. There we go. I'm kind of now, trying. I'm driving and looking messy. back. There we go. I'm going to let you pass me so that you're in front. Well, where am I going? Just go straight ahead. I think right up ahead of us, um, there's a, um, um, I think there's going to be a, um, like a cliff, just a ledge we can look over. And really, it was just an excuse to, to drive around a bit. Um, and 20%. once again, guys, know that his view is pretty pixelated. Like it's, it's, this is what we're getting through in the Discord. Um, so. Hopefully, you guys can see through some of the limitations. So, yeah, let me go ahead and ask um, Thomas's 20%. question while we're driving in this direction. Um, he said, "Do okay. you use voice attack?" He said, "Do you use voice attack and a mouse exclusively for everything, not just ED? Like no keyboard, like it's That's all right. No yeah. keyboard ever. And as a matter of fact, when I go to bed every night, I've got a tablet mounted on my bed with running Windows." And I have no mouse there at all. It's just keyboard. Uh, I'm sorry, just voice. Okay, interesting. So, and so, is it, it what is it like a Microsoft Surface or what kind of device is it? It's an equivalent. It's a Acer. Yeah. Okay. Acer something or another. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah. It but was it, a competitor to the Surface. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, and you know. For a few times here, I've been barking at my um, my Amazon Echo. Um, and guys, just quickly, you've, there's 30 seconds left in the giveaway. So if you guys haven't registered, go ahead and get registered. I only see about 25 or so, and there's 50 of you here. So you've got you've got 25 seconds to get in and get registered. Um, you know, I use the Amazon Echoes. I've literally got them all over my house. Alexa, stop as, as, as the alarm goes. And now, yeah, you do. Okay, I I kind of assumed that would be something very natural. Um, and as you see, we're oh, yeah. just about to reach this. I'm going to run up ahead. Let me see if this lip is, if we're going to fall off of it or not, or if it's just a 10%. Um, oh yeah. You can, we've got a long ways to go before we, before we get to any edge. 30%. So, yeah. I was going to say, you can keep following me and we have a visitor, so we'll, we'll let him drive around us since he's I friendly. I kicked it up to 30. I hope. Oh, that's great. We're no. still far away, right? Oh, yeah, we've got a, a good ways to go. You could go 100%. Okay. We're still 10 or 20 seconds away. Um, 50%. And so, yeah, how long ago did you did you kind of jump on the Echoes as soon as they came out? Have you Were you a pretty early adopter of those? No, actually, I only got them about maybe less than a year ago. Okay, all right. I was um, pretty slow to get on with it, but I just couldn't resist it. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> awesome. Hey, you're not the only one that does that, by the way. <laughs> 10%. What is the most challenging Turn right one. thing for you in Elite? Uh, 
turn right when. Hang on a second. Let me no. get back on course here. Yeah, don't sweat it. Actually, I'm, oh, there's no course. I'm going to follow you. Just keep going the direction you're in. That's completely fine, right? We have no specific destination. I was just as there as we can see. There's like a canyon or, um, over here, you know, um, in front of us, and I just thought we'd drive to the edge of this canyon. Just give us something to turn right one. And actually, let me okay, ask you about. Most, yeah, let me ask you about I'm that sorry, command. The most uh, difficult thing, probably, oh, golly, uh, landing on a planet's not that difficult. Yeah. Um, there's really nothing difficult about what I do. Now, if you add in combat, well, that's difficult, but it's pretty much impossible. I, yeah, you know, I, was, I, I kind of assumed that, but didn't want to assume that. Um, yeah. I'm guessing just it's just there's too much fast twitch movement. There's just too much kind of going on. Now, I do have a, a Toby eye tracker that I have not used yet. Okay, okay. And, and I hope when I can use it, I can use it as a mouse and actually fly with it, like up, down, left, right. Do you, are you, a, you know, are you a member of, or I'm assuming there's, and let me run, I'm going to run ahead and see how close we are to the edge, that there are kind of disabled gamer communities. Is that something you're involved with and, and that you play with other disabled gamers? Have you been in touch with no. others about their challenges? Or are you kind of just doing this on your own? I'm just a loner. I've never, never worked with any other, I don't even know any other disabled gamers. Okay, um, okay, okay. And yeah, we're getting. That would be a cool really thing to get into. I would, yeah, I would certainly think so. When um, when I was in college, and yeah, if you see where I am, we still got a pretty ways till we get to the edge of the crater. Maybe here at the end, we'll we'll purposely jump off the crater and and and, and just let ourselves <laughs> fall. Um, in, in college, um, I had a roommate that had a roommate for like five or six years, actually, and best friend whose um, girlfriend and then fiance um, was deaf. Um, and so for quite a long time, oh, this is great, actually. There's no edge, so we can just keep going, and we're just going to slowly drive down this kind of steep deep slope but oh, okay, um, cool. but she was deaf and so I was fluent in sign you know she, she I was certainly fluent conversationally with her because you know she knew what words I knew and didn't know like I wouldn't know the word for you know um, moon rover right so she would know to say that to me mm -hmm. in um, you know in finger spelling right well, let me not slam oh, yeah. into you. Let me not slam into you. Um, and um, so I've always been fascinated by the way that technology can enable, you know, folks with limited abilities or disabilities and, you know, to be able to, you know, engage in all the same stuff that we did. Um, and that was even yeah. back in the early 90s. Um, and I remember they had a service, I think think it was TTL um, was what it was called. Essentially, it was like a text to, you know, like texting oh, yeah. through the yeah, phone system. Yeah, you had a special mm -hmm. box and, you know, you would make a call and on the other end if you didn't have a special box, you know, a, literally an operator would speak and play translator in the middle. You know, and you think about wow. something like that and that was, I mean, it was amazing for her at the time. And now, I remember when, when the first instant messaging apps started in probably the mid-90s at the time and what a complete game changer that was for her and the entire deaf community. And I can't even right. imagine today with, the, you know, the technology we have with smartphones, okay. you know, all of that. It's just, it, you know, it's, it's incredible. Right. Um, okay. So yeah, why don't you, let's go ahead and head down into the crater a little bit more. Just again. Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. You know, we'll just drive down here. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, I got, I got confused. The other, the other guy that's here, I was thinking that was you. So, <laughs> um, so let me, yeah, so keep going. I'm just going to come down and find you. There you are screaming across the planet. I love flying through trenches with my ship. That's pretty fun. One of my favorite things to do. In fact, we were going to do some. Question as well. Oh, okay. Thanks, Zidorian. Let me look over there. Um, we were going to do something more like go some, do some sightseeing and stuff, but I felt like it'd be a oh, lot stuff. more sense for us to, to just talk more and be able to get into the nitty gritty of stuff. Right. Um, and yeah, actually, this is a great Turn question. Um, Computer Dude w is asking, and I see there's a few here, so I'll try to get to him. Computer Dude was asking, oh, have stop. you have you tried any VR to use VR as a way to aim and target and be able to look around in that way? Break. I have not yet, but man, I've, I've been watching and got my eye on it. It's just a matter of having the money to fund it. Uh, right now, I've got a pretty nice PC, but my video card is uh, a Radeon RX 550. 
Okay. So it'll okay. push 4K in Windows, but it 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 doesn't do well at all for the game. Gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah. Yeah, I would love to do VR if I ever you know get the funds to do it. Yeah, I would think that that would potentially be. I mean, not only just for those that have have gotten to play Elite in VR, the immersion of it. Uh, you know, I, I make the joke that playing Elite on a monitor is a very pretty video game. Playing Elite in VR, and you're flying a fucking spaceship, right? It's yeah. really that big a difference. <laughs> uh, let me take a quick break. Imagine. Yeah, let me take a quick break and pick a winner for the contest. Um, okay. So roll in the dice and Ash Darkfire. Um, Ash Darkfire, you are the winner today. Um, if you will reach out to me via Discord um, and DM me, I'll get in touch with you after the stream and get you um, your code. So Ash, I hope you're still with us. Um, and let's see, let me go back through a few of the other questions. Um, yeah, Sage is asking, how long does it take you to modify commands to the complexity you have and how many commands? do you have that's a good question um it takes it takes a while if you and i take it by sections like like the camera sweep for example um i've got it fixed up where i can operate it by voice and it took it really took about a week to get all the complexities of it um i can demonstrate that if you want please please absolutely that's the whole reason we're here all right um I got to quit saying right. <laughs> you know what? That's one of my natural things, too, okay. is, is to say right when I'm speaking with folks. So I, I understand it. Exit. Exit. Okay. I've actually got it set up for my head cam, my uh, head look also. Check this out. Nine o'clock. Two o'clock. Twelve o'clock high. 12 o'clock high. Wow. 3 o'clock low. So, you know, I've got those at my disposal. That can oh, be really handy. I bet it does. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I think this is great. I'll Why don't you just it. demonstrate for us a little bit here? This is fantastic. All right. In SCR, show security cameras. Take control of camera. Move back five. Pitch up zero point two. Turn left one. Turn right one. Vertical down one. Drop camera here. Release handbrake, 10%. Turn left one, 20%. Turn right two. We'll stop. Wow, I, I I don't know about you guys watching, but I'm just sitting here damn near speech. I, I, it's pretty rare I shut up for this long, right? So I'm literally speechless. This is really impressive. Um, one Take of the things. Of camera. One of the things I want to point out to everybody was um, just as a. a, a Strange aside, if anybody's wondering, I actually reached out to Frontier um, and confirmed with them because uh, there's been some debate in the past about the legality of voice attack, um, about some of the things that you might be able to do with it and specifically around um, automated actions. So, for example, if you were to have voice attack, say your ship hits 110 degree, 110 percent heat and voice attack automatically fires off a heat sink, things like that for the most part, or actually do violate the terms of service because you're you're kind of botting or automating the game at that point. Um, I wanted to check with them about the things that Jerry was doing for the reason he's doing it. And of course, they confirmed that all of this is completely valid and, and you know there's no problem with the terms of service. And so what I'm curious about, Jerry, what I was just wondering is, have you ever shared your voice attack profile with folks? And if folks were interested in that, is that something you would be interested in or willing to do? Well, I've shared it with my, my buddies I fly with. Uh, well, I've just shared it with one, really, just to kind of 
beta test it, you might say. Uh-huh. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would. I, I kind of see a day when I'll actually be ready to share it in some form or another. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, I don't. If I'm building something this this useful, then I, you know, I'm I'm gonna share it because there's just so many other people out there that I know would love to do what I'm doing. Oh, I think this would, yeah, I, I, I was sitting here thinking the exact same thing. In fact, one of the things we'll take offline after the stream is um, when you're at that point, um, I would very much love to set up a page on our new little plug on our new website, um, edtutorials.com. Um, I'd set up a page. There'll be a page for the stream there at some point anyway, but setting up a page about voice attack, about your script, you know, a place where people can download it. You can keep an updated version of it um if that's something you're interested mm-hmm. in i would love to help get that going right because i okay. do think there's a lot um that would be um you know that would be really really interested in that um and so why don't we do this just because i i, I saw several comments on chat about you know that this is crazy um let's do some more of that again why don't we do this why don't you i'm just gonna let you go Drive us over into the canyon. I'm just going to follow you. You go where you want to go. You know, show us various things that you think are interesting about the profile you've got. And just let's, yeah, let's just play a little bit and let everybody see how you do that again. Okay. Well, I can demonstrate the gun turret too. Great. Um, let's see if I can get out of the, let's see, exit camera. Uh oh, that didn't work. Somehow Cortana came up. Okay, exit camera. Exit Okay, I just hit a bug, so let me get out of it. No problem. Way. No problem. Wake up. Press Alt Numpad Seven. Go to sleep. And now those Ten commands percent. were to Dragon. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I recognize the go to sleep and the wake up commands. Right, those are dragon. Um, turn left. S- stop. Turn left. Stop. I'll stop. Go up to gun turret. Now here I can use my mouse. Okay, that was one of the things I was I was a little con- confused about and wanted to clarify. So you do have mouse control with your thumbs, is that right? As we talked at the beginning, I I do. I just don't have long term use. I mean, I can I can move it around, and play with it for about a minute, and then I've got to stop. And is that you so. like you say you can do it for that long? Do you get fatigued? Is that the issue? Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, and are you, my thumb just gives out sure and are you using an actual mouse or is it a small kind of joystick device well that's a really good question too uh i used to use a joystick on my wheelchair and then about three years ago my hand and arm just got too weak to operate it so when they got me a new wheelchair they gave me a little device i i I can't remember the name of it now it's essentially a box about three inches by two inches and hang on a second (laughs) exit yeah i'm getting a little strange stutter in my game too so i'm gonna see if if why i'm okay so when i uh they they gave me this box and it mounts right under my hand and it's got a hole in the top of the control box my thumb hangs down in that that hold it's about an inch and a half in diameter and that's a laser field inside that box okay so if i keep my thumb right in the center that's like the center of a joystick and if i move my thumb in all around 360 degrees around the outside then that mimics the movement of the joysticks and that's actually how i drive my chair but I have a mode switch that will switch it over to a Bluetooth mouse controller and allow me to drive the mouse around on my screen. So it's like a joystick emulating a mouse. Yeah. 
and then inside the game, it's emulating back into a joystick. Wow. It's yeah. Weird. Yeah. No, I gotcha. Um, and is it okay, Jerry? I just went to your website, which we've been sharing already. Anyway, do you have an? Is it okay if I share a picture of you in your chair with everybody, so they can kind sure. of see a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to check before I before I yeah, spam no that out to everybody. Um, that way you guys can get an idea of kind of his, what his chair. You know, you'll see the picture of his chair and kind of where his joystick is, right? Yeah, uh, so that's yeah. actually my old joystick. That that's what I don't have anymore. Ah, gotcha, right. gotcha. Um, well, why don't we do some more of that? Why don't let's let's I'm going to okay. follow you head toward. I think the can the crater is kind of behind or the, the, the rest of the canyon is kind of behind us. Um, so when you can, why don't you flip around and I'll just follow you that way again. OK, you lead the way. Let me see if I can follow you. All right. You got it. Ten percent. Turn left one. Repeat that two times. That didn't work too well. <laughs> Turn left. Stop. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh-oh. Well, whoever's come to join us is kind of... <laughs> Damn, just ran into you. 10%. Turn left. The joys of playing elite and open. Stop. There we go. Now I'm Got you set. Lead the way. Okie dokie. 20%. And I'm doing a little mental gymnastics too because I'm driving forward, but I'm looking backwards at you. Oh, with the camera? Yeah, so I'm in, well, I'm in the turret facing backwards, driving oh, with my, okay. with, so I steer with my feet, and then I've got a HOTUS set up, so I'm using my joystick to control oh, the turret, my feet are steering me, and then the, my throttle is, is my throttle, so if I spin this around, yeah, we're going to climb up this hill, and since everybody can see our split view, they can see, you know, they can see what you're looking at and what I'm looking at. I'm going to turn right just a little bit to go straight up. Turn right 0 0.1. Turn right 0 0.2. And by the way, those numbers I'm giving it it's just about is how many them. seconds I want to turn. Okay, okay. How many seconds I want to hold down the key. Yeah, turn and right 1. I'll admit, I didn't even realize you could do dynamic. Oh, crap. Like that you could have voice attack take Stop. dynamic input like that, which is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's already been a comment Turn that, right that, you know, great guy, obviously put a lot of work into the Turn script. Right I'm sure many would be grateful if he ever feels ready to share it. And I think that a lot of people would second that. Turn right one. Turn left 0 0.5. Turn left 0 0.5. All stop. I tell you what, whenever you get ready, there's it's kind of easier to fly the ship than okay. the SRV. I tell you what, let's head back to the ship then, and we'll do exactly that. That's a great segue, because sure, we've driven around enough. Um, so I would say if you want, we can drive back to it, or if you want to take the fast track. Do you know how to fast travel back to your to your ship? You're talking about, uh, well, no, I guess I don't. Well, let me show you how to fast travel. Everybody's going to probably laugh at me for this. So look at your right panel, right? Like over where you have modules and stuff like that. Modules. No, that's system home. No, you're on the right one. Well, go to the SRV tab. SRV. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay. Modules. Ship. Inventory. Status. No, that's fire groups. <laughs> ship oh my gosh see here's a good example of a bug yeah 
Uh, I've got a question. When you said, no, that's fire groups, were you literally resetting it and kind of telling it you made a mistake? Yeah. This is what it's really displaying so that then it knows where in the menus it is. Is that what just happened? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. That's, that's, yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. Now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to actually get there. Because uh, apparently my script does not account for the fact that it's SRV here. Yeah, and ship. I get exactly what you're saying. Well, okay, so we certainly can drive back. What I jokingly was going to do is this is the screen that has self-destruct on it, right? And if ah. we self-destructed, bam, you'd spawn right back into your ship, right? Um, Let's so, see if I can get right. fire groups. Fire groups. How do you know? There we go. And so if you choose down there at the bottom in the middle, you'll see self-destruct. So you would have to go right and then down whatever it is, the Move four right. times. Move down four. Enter. And then wait Move three down. seconds. And Enter. Then I'm joining you, so we're both blowing up. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> there Never you go. Done this before. Yeah, yep. <laughs> so I joke about like with a lot of kind of the farming methods and stuff I'll do. I honestly self-destruct quite a lot because if I'm going to save myself a trip flying back or things like that, <laughs> I'll jokingly call it the fast travel method. And because again, here in a second gotcha. we'll spawn back in our ship, and you know it's, we don't need the SRV again today. So hey, why not? Right. Right. And, you know, Black Raven said, and I almost was thinking this Black Raven said, well, you could fast travel him. Like, I could blow up your SRV for you. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to get this <laughs> I wanted to get this working for you. So that's the first time you've ever self-destructed, huh? Yeah, first time. Excellent, excellent. So my ship had taken off, so I spawned up in space. I'm guessing we maybe got far enough away that you're as well as well. Oh, in fact, you actually banged into me. Look at, wow, it literally spawned us, like, in the same place. Like, we started banging to each other without, that was crazy. Weird. Yeah, that was, that's just a weird game thing. Um, so Where since this is such a pretty, um, and um, Yurina, if you can kind of get out of shot for us a little bit, I'd appreciate that, buddy. Nine o'clock. Um, and oh, so, okay, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why don't okay. you um, go ahead and, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to follow you, um, Gracchus. Why don't we just fly okay. around here in normal space a bit and show the boys and girls how you, how you fly. Engage. Pitch down. No, no, cancel that. Pitch up 0 0.5. Yeah, doing system hops, you know, having the you know fuel scoop and turning, flying around stations, that's pretty fun because you can you can gauge how fast you're going to how fast it turns. Okay. You okay. Know, if you're going really fast, you know, you're not going to get much yaw. And by the way, I, when I say turn left and turn right, it's just straight yaw. I don't gotcha. do hardly any roll. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I tell you, that, you tell me, do you want to fly back to Abernathy? Would would it make sense to maybe jump to another system, jump back in, and then fly back to the station? And then maybe once we've landed to the station? Yeah, we, let's we'll, do that. Yeah, let's okay. That. So why don't you pick a star that you're going to jump to? Okay. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pick one because it's right next door. It should be within Stop. your range. It's called Tokopa. So T-O-C-O-P-A. Galaxy map. It's called what now? T O C O P A. It should be or Ambrugias. I see Ambrugias right there on your on your screen. We could go to Ambrugias. Oh, okay. All right, we'll go there. Oh, uh, Galaxy Map. I gotta quit saying okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we should be yeah. able to jump without um, having to even go to Super Cruise. Turn right. Half impulse. Turn faster this way. 
And yeah, for those that are joining, there was just a question here, and I see another question. Somebody just said they're just joining, and they said Jerry uses no types of controller, and that's absolutely right, guys. He is doing this 100% via voice. He is not using a mouse. He's not using a keyboard. He's not using a joystick. Pitch down to 0.5. Everything you're hearing him say is... Prepare for hyperspace jump. Is how he's doing this. Turn right 0 0.5. Engage. Uh, what was the other question? When I pop out of a uh, hyperspace, I'll do my typical fuel scooping. And That's great. That's great. There's a couple other questions, but I'm it. just, yeah, I'm just going to let you go for a second. So those with questions, right. keep them coming, and I'm just kind of queuing them up here. Turn right. Pitch up 0 0.8. Quarter impulse. Stop. I'm well, not much scooping here. Didn't have that much wasted. Turn yeah, that yeah, was such a tiny jump, right? Turn left one. Stop. All right, now wait, you want to go back to yeah. uh, Gleese? Yeah, we'll go back to Gleese 9106. Right. And I tell you what, actually, let's do this. Why don't I'm going to give you another system? I would love to see how you Stop. type in the name of a system, right? So that you would have. So in other words, okay. instead of selecting it, I'm going to give you a Stop. name, and we're going to head there. So we're going to head to where I said a second okay. ago, Tokopa. So T O C O P A. And while you'll probably be able to see that, I'd love to see how you type that in. Sure, sure. Galaxy map. And ADF Cable, my friend, is very generous of you. Um, I appreciate that. Um, I'll try to find a way to get uh, I get a little piece of that to Jerry somehow, get him some merch or something. Uh, ADF Cable just uh, donated 20 bucks, which was very, very generous of him. Um, so we'll do oh, something. Sweet. Yeah, we'll get some kind of merch or something sent to Jerry for that cable. That was really great. Now, I have to tell you, for a dictation, I'll switch over to Dragon. Go, okay, you go right ahead. Wake up. Type Tango. Type Oscar, type Charlie, type Oscar, type Papa, go to sleep. A, what was the rest oh, of it? An, a, an A, just an A, just an A. Wake up, type Alpha, type Enter, go to sleep. Now I do have prog I do have a command, and I'm working with a uh, uh, another developer who does the uh, uh, Elite. API. His name is Somfit, if I'm pronouncing that right. Okay. And uh, he does he does something similar to uh, uh, EDDI. But anyway, I can take a list of systems, and I've got it set where I can just do a voice command, and it will actually come over here, paste in the name of the system, and go for it. I just don't wow. have that finished yet. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Another great one. So, so when you're ready, right. when you're, yeah, you've got it plotted. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Pitch it down. Stop. Turn right 0 0.3. Pitch up 0 0.3. Prepare for hyperdrive. Prepare, bleh. Prepare for hyperspace travel. Prepare for hyperspace. Turn right 0 0.6. Pitch up 0 0.3. There was a question earlier about how much training you had to do with voice attack and the voice Engage. dictation stuff for it to, you Engage. know, learn your voice enough. Well, you know, it uses a Microsoft... Uh, engine uh-huh so it's not the greatest in the world i've had to go and personally train maybe 15 or 20 words uh but you know the more uh, the more you uh dictate with that the, the better it gets right unfortunately i do all my dictation with dragon so sometimes it is kind of a pain 
turn left. Pitch up two. And the little... I'll let you get to where you're scooping, house. and then I'll ask. So, yeah. Turn right. Stop. And see, like, right here, I can do, like... Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> turn right one. If I time it right, I can do this. Repeat that every three seconds. Ah, so you're now skirting around the star, it. and it's turned. Uh, wow, that's really, really impressive. And one of the things I was going to ask about that is it seems that you have a really good feel for if you need to pitch up, you know, 0 0.3 or 0 0.6, or you just kind of get a rhythm and a feel for what each one of those is going to be and how much it's going to turn you. Is that, is, is, is that about right? Yeah, and it, it took a lot of time to get used to that, too. I can imagine. You know, right? many hours of approaching planets and purposefully not using the Super Cruise Assist, you know, just to mm -hmm. get efficient at it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You so, know, I have to admit, left. I was sitting here thinking a second ago, you know, I think that the, I, I think... I've always said that PvP or Thargoids is the hardest gameplay in Elite. I, dude, I, I, you have showed me a new level of hard, right? Like, I, this is just, uh. I can't even imagine. Um, so let's do, let's go ahead and plot back to Gleese 9106 and back, and we'll head back to Abernathy. Galaxy map. And then I'm not there ignoring the questions. My mouse here. Okay. Yeah. I do use my mouse here, but Why not? Uh, ultimately, I want to make it where it's completely, you know, hands free. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was, I was good. also guessing that bookmarks were probably a big thing. Um, yeah. A big thing for you. Pitch up three. Pitch down one. Pitch down zero point three. Turn left three. That's too much. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Prepare for hyperspace travel. And Zen Air Zulu. I completely agree. Zen Air Zulu says this is cool. This is so cool and has so much use for gaming companies. It should be just another kind of controller, right? That there's this. I completely agree, right? This is just. Indeed. I use a Hotus. Some people use a mouse and keyboard. Jerry uses his voice, right? And and we all can love, do the same you know, thing. Yeah. My perfect job would be to work for HSC. I, that I, would just be the coolest thing ever. I certainly <laughs> hope we can get this and, and somebody at HSC could see this. I, 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 you know, I'll certainly try my best to get it in front of them just from a, from a, <laughs> they should be featuring this kind of stuff. Look Turn at what right. someone's been able to do with what you guys have built, right? You know, mm -hmm. there, uh, essentially, otherwise, there's no way you'd ever be able to play a game like this without a tool like this, right? And so Never. what they've been able to do for you, right, is, is really impressive. Um, one of the questions I want to go back to, um, um, Farrell was asking, if you have fine control of your thumbs, and I think maybe fine control, you can answer if that's a stretch or not, would a trackball be less fatiguing than the laser mouse joystick you had talked about earlier? I assume you've tried a trackball before. Uh, actually, a laser mouse would be resistance. What my thumb does, it actually hangs in space. Okay. There is absolutely no resistance. It doesn't actually touch anything. It just hangs straight down, and I can move it around. And it hanging down in a like a 365 degree rotation, mm -hmm. so it don't actually touch anything. So it is the least of all resistance. God, and is that is is that actually better? Th because the fact that you're not touching anything, I'm assuming that actually is less fatiguing than if you were oh, touching. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah gotcha. Yeah, because there's there's no resistance whatsoever. It's just gravity. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna let you take it again. Why don't I'm gonna? I'll uh, well, try to actually, follow you in. No, actually, please. Actually, hang on. Give me about one minute. Go, go right ahead. Go right ahead. So guys, here in a second, what we'll do is we're gonna head back to Abernathy and land. So if you've got some questions, and we'll probably wrap up the stream once we do that. Um, if you've got some questions, by all means, you know, get them in here in the next few minutes. Again, for those that are maybe joining a little late to the game here, um, uh, Jerry Ferris, Commander Gracchus, who's joining me today, is a disabled gamer. Um, he's got um, what's called SMA, spinal muscular atrophy. Um, so it's something that's degenerative. Um, 
if I'm remembering right, it was about 20 years ago that he had enough control of his hands to be able to play some first person shooters. He was into Half Life and, and Doom. Like, I mean, those, those were the games of my childhood. Um, and so we're, we've been talking about what he play, how he plays Elite. Um, he uses voice attack, and that's what you guys are hearing. <clears throat> Pitch up zero point two. Yeah, and I'm gonna follow you in, Jerry. In fact, I was cheating and I turned on Super Cruise Assist. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> you might pass me. <laughs> no, I turned it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna just follow you in. Alright, let's see if we can one thing to make sure I'll, I'll teach you a little trick here you might not know. Um, if you what? set to 75% throttle, you can leave it at 75% throttle the whole flight in, and it will, it will set you for automatically, uh, for the right speed to decelerate perfectly if you were to set 75 right now. That, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it, that would probably get you to stations quicker, certainly quicker than half throttle. So later, if you don't have a command for that just yet, mm -hmm. if you set something for 75%, it would, it would get you there yeah. a little faster. Yeah, I did. I said quarter impulse. No, that's right. Three. There you go. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's the speed you want. Turn left to 0 0.3. Repeat that two times. Pitch down 0 0.2. Pitch down 0 0.2. And QB, he actually oh, recently he actually recently right got a Toby eye tracker. So he just hasn't gotten a chance to play with it Turn yet. So. Right. Turn right. Yeah, I think I'm done two for pitch down. Stop. Pitch up one. Repeat that. Repeat that. Pitch down 0 0.5. Repeat that. Turn left 0 0.3. Pitch up 0 0.2. Sorry about the chair, guys. It's okay. That's okay. We're it's all good, man. 10%. I got to reline up. Turn left. Pitch up. This is yeah, I, the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Stop. I, I, you're not the only one that's sitting here with their mouths open. <laughs> Afternoon, I'm Max. Disengage. What the heck? Oh, I'm too far away. Turn left. I didn't mean to drop out. Stop. Pitch down one. Jump point six. Turn right zero point two. Repeat that. Prepare for hyper. Nope, nope, nope. Prepare for super cruise. <laughs> Okay, I got to share this because I think you would get a kick out of this given our conversation beforehand. Somebody just commented, turn down the volume and it looks like drunk driving. <laughs> oh, and it is your brother. It's your brother that said that. He said, I'm his brother, so I can make fun of him a little bit. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, see, I'm having a little trouble with it picking up the, the background noise and such, but it's usually a lot better responsive. Of course. It's definitely something you do alone, you know? Oh, I get it, right? I, yeah. I imagine Turn most of your play most of your play is solo. Repeat that. 10%. Turn left. Dang, do it. Do it again. You know what? Fly away for a little bit. Give yourself some space. Like, okay. get some distance. Yeah, because honestly, when I do I make a mistake Stop. like you have, which I do all the time, and you loop a shame, as we call Engage. it, you fly past, just give yourself some distance, get out of ways a little bit, then you can flip back around and come back to it. Yeah, that's now, definitely better. I can also show you a trick here, since we're winged up. Are you? Have you ever done Wingman Navlock? I've done it one time with, okay. uh, with four wolves. So what you can do is if you open your chat panel and you go to the third tab over and you click on me, you can choose engage wingman navlock. And when I drop at the station, you'll drop right on me. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah. I'll stop. Chat. That squadron feed. social wow right, is it where i'm supposed to be yeah uh-huh and then click on me 
Enter. Oh, go down, down one. Three. Oh, too far. Down. No, 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 no. Me up at the top. Sorry, in the wing. Oh. I, I forgive me. Forgive Move me. Up four. Enter. Enter. Great. All right. Is that it? That's it. Now all you're probably going to have to do is get lined up facing me. So close out a social. Exit. And it looks like I'm maybe behind you. And so if you flip around and then th once you've flipped around, throttle Next up. Next target. Next target. Where are you in? I'm in uh, DBX. Turn right. I'm Next actually, target. if you look on your huh, on your scanner, you'll see a blue dot. And, it's, and if you keep cycling targets, you'll get me. Next target. Next target. Huh. Next target. Oh, well. You're almost there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and pitch, pitch in, a, I mean, a yaw in elite is so painfully slow. So, yeah, there you go. And so as soon as you kind of have me right in front, You'll just throttle up. Stop. 10%. How fast do I need to get? In fact, for this, you can literally go full blast, and then as soon as you get close enough, you'll drop automatically. Engage. And then once you drop, you'll throttle back down. There we go. Turn right. And there you are. I usually try to navigate into the front of the station. Uh huh. Okay. I don't trust it to carry me around. I did that once with a ring station, and uh -huh. it slammed me right into it. Why don't I'll you? Stop. Why don't you educate the guys that might not know? How do you drop okay. out on that side of the station? How do you know that you dropped out on the side with the door, with the mail slot? No, no, I mean, I, I usually fly around. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let me give you a trick Thank then. Um, the mail slot Thank of the you. station Stop. always faces the body that it's orbiting. Okay. So if you were to approach from the planet, which is maybe a little trickier because you'd have to fly past it and loop around and things like that. But for everybody, that's what would drop you out facing right at the mail slot. I see. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me find where the, oh, there it is. All right, this is fun. I'm just going to navigate without turning. Stop. Vertical down. Lateral right. Pitch up one. Turn left one. Stop. Turn left. Stop, vertical up, pitch up one. Here we go. I'll stop. Are we gonna do anything else? Or are we gonna no? Dock I'd say or? let's go ahead and dock, and I think we'll we'll chat a little stop. bit more, and then we'll call this a day. I think I passed it. <laughs> vertical down. Yeah, when I first started learning how to fly this thing, I accidentally took off without a docking module. Uh-huh. I had to fly out by hand, and oh, that was a challenge. I, you know what? I was, I was assuming you were going to use, I mean, hell, if I use the docking computer to be, uh, to be lazy at times, I was assuming you were going to be using one, but I can't imagine uh, how yeah. difficult it would be, um, you know, to, to, do, to do this with, with just voice control. You know, it gives you like nine and a half minutes. And I think I come down to like less than a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now it's up to you. If you want to blow everybody's mind and fly it in by yourself, I don't, I shouldn't have put you on the spot. Right. Oh, but if, if you want to go for that, I, I, I'm going to okay, admit, we, I would I'll love to see start. that. All right. We're just have to keep it pretty quiet. You go right but ahead. Yeah, I, can I won't it. say a damn thing. All right. Pitch up one. 30%.
docking. No, no. Request docking. Ten percent. Lateral right. Stop. Turn left one. Turn left one. Twenty percent. Yeah, this is probably gonna be disastrous. But it'll be fun anyway. That's the I'm I'm getting a real kick out of this, so sure. <laughs> Docking pad 38. I hope it's far. Those are easier. <laughs> the worst it's thing that can 0. happen 5. is your digital spaceship explodes and we all get a big kick out of 0. it. 5. Yeah, that, that's true. Pitch up one. Pitch down 0. 0.5. Turn right 0. 0.2. Lateral right three. Uh oh. Lateral left. Stop. All stop. Lower left zero point five. What the heck? Uh, I, I stopped. I forgot. If I go down to all stop, it takes over. I, 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 I'm going to have to disable it. I was going to say, you know what? Uh, I just had to modules. do the same thing. I just did the same thing because all of a sudden mine took over as I was trying to film you, and I just disabled mine. So, yep. 10%. Modules. Lateral right. That's audio. Move down 20. Reverse ten percent. I gotta buy more time. I was gonna. I was about to suggest that that maybe if you <laughs> um if you cancel your docking request and then and then request again, you can you can start over. Contacts. Move right. Enter. Modules. Now where is this thing? Move down. How do you disable the uh, If you the thing? select it, you can then select again, and it'll disable it. Well, where is it? Uh, keep. It's probably up. You're at the very bottom. So if you go down again. Move down. Move down. All oh, stop. My line. Yeah, if you go okay. there. Uh, and it should be, it's probably just not quite on that page. It's probably just on down the next 10. page. Move up. Is that it? That's it. Exactly. Hit it twice. Enter. Enter. Now you're full manual, okay. buddy. Okay. So I would say, that's right. You canceled already. So yeah, I would request again. Yeah. Lateral left. Lateral left. Stop. Vertical up. Stop. Turn right 0 0.5. Repeat that two times. I've got a variable set. It's supposed, not supposed to do that long in between. Pitch down 0 0.5. Repeat that. Turn right 0 0.5. Repeat that. Repeat that. Lateral left one. Lateral left two. Vertical up two. Repeat that. Ten percent. Contacts. Move right. Enter. Enter. Oh, no. Okay. 20%. Vertical up to. Move 
vertical up to vertical up 1.5 pitch up 0 0.1 pitch up 0 0.2 10 percent all stop roll right 0 0.5 10 percent roll right 0 0.8 pitch up 0 0.2 Roll left zero point one. All right, where's my? Okay. I'll stop. Roll what? right zero point two. Which pad are you, Jerry? Lateral right 45. two. Repeat that. Roll left zero point two. 0 0.6 repeat that pitch down 0 0.3 pitch down 0 0.5 lateral left 0 0.8 lateral left 1 stop oh crap <laughs> <laughs> lateral right one lateral right three repeat that lateral left one repeat that two times turn right zero point three Repeat that. Repeat that. Turn right 0 0.5. Lower landing gear. Left 0 0.3. Lateral left 0 0.8. Repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. Turn right 0 0.3. Turn right 0 0.5. Repeat that. Turn right 0 0.6. Repeat that. Repeat that. Lateral left one. Stop. Vertical down 0 0.5. Vertical down one. Move forward zero point five. Vertical down zero point five. Repeat that. Vertical down zero point eight. Repeat that. Move forward one. Repeat that. Repeat that. Vertical down 0 0.8. Vertical down 1. Repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. Lateral lift. Okay. That's Holy it. shit. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know about you guys, but that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in this game. Yeah, great job. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. Good job, Jerry. Wow. And that's without practice. I mean, I imagine if I did it all the time, I'd be better at it. But Wow. I got to watch that from a really cool I, idol, I, too. I, I, yeah. Like, I just, I'm so glad I caught that in the external camera. And for a couple people that asked, yes, there will be a separate clip of that little sequence uh, that will go up on the <laughs> channel here very, very soon. Because, wow. Sweet. Absolutely the coolest thing I've ever seen in Elite. <laughs> I tell people that playing this the way I do is more like being the captain of a ship. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's you a know, great way to say it. Issuing commands to your navigator, but. That is a great way to say it. Right. Wow. 
Well, um, I, you know, guys, I, <laughs> I'm i really just sitting here kind of stunned speechless at that. Um, I'm really glad that I challenged you to do that. because And you did it in, <laughs> what, half the time from what you'd said before? I mean, I think yeah, that was, yeah, I, I actually had over four minutes left. Yeah, time. I was going to say, it looked like you had plenty of time left, right? Um, and yeah, I just just floored. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've, I've been in some really high skill PvP fights. I've, I've sold a Cyclops and a Sidewinder. I have never seen anything that impressive. <laughs> um, so as we wrap up here, um, if you guys have any final questions, um, before we go here in a second, get them in, um, Jerry, what do you think is next for you? What do you, what are your goals with the game? Like when you, you know, I usually tell commanders to think about who they are in elite, right? You know, like, are they a trader? Are they a combat guy? Are they an explorer? Like, who are you right. and what is your goal to, you know, to grow into an elite? You know, the, the, the sky's the limit. I really don't know what direction I'll go in the game. Uh, I'll keep working on my profile until I can do every feature the game has to offer with efficiency. Yeah. To to make it more playable and enjoyable. But, you know, ultimately what I would love to do is to be a smuggler. Okay. And okay. If I can reach the level of purchasing my own Purchasing a ship and have some fighters, some, you know, NPC uh -huh. fighters. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Then maybe they can protect my butt while I'm transferring cargo, so... Well, and, you know, another thing that I think would be interesting for some of the stuff is, you know, we get you a ship that has a ship launch fighter and you get a friend to wing up or to multi-crew with you. Right. And, you know, and yeah. they can fly the fighter with you and do combat with you. Certainly get together in wings and do things in wings. Yeah. Right. Um, I think. Fun. Yeah, I think all of that would potentially be great. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I would see I would imagine for you that exploration, I think you said that at the top is is one of your favorite things to do. Right. Yeah. Um, I would think if we could get you, um, you know, get you the Guardian FSD booster, um, even with just that and getting your ass, you know, outfit a little better. Um, you know, I would challenge you to head to someplace like Colonia. Right. Jump out there because oh, um, yeah. it's really, really pretty as you get toward the center. Um, you know, because the, the thing that's so amazing about the center of the galaxy, just for everybody that hasn't been there, is because the star field is so dense because there's, you know, like you get near the, the center of the galaxy and there's stars every 10 of a light year away um it the the sky becomes this just super bright field of stars and it's just it's wow. real and, and colonia specifically is in a purple nebula so you're in this purple nebula with this really really dense star field um i remember spending a while the first time i went out there you know i probably was i probably made it a two or three day trip and probably spent 20 hours or so doing it and when i got back to the bubble it was like oh this is so boring it's just it's not nearly as pretty here as it was there right because <laughs> you know because space is just empty it's too dark so yeah um, so yeah i definitely look forward to getting together and playing with you just the two of us sometime i would love to get a few guys um and take you out to the guardian site and you know and help you get the booster right um give you like you kind of were saying have somebody to cover you a little bit right yeah, um that'd be great yeah, and, you know, I also, you know, what I said a little while ago I think would be great for the whole community is to work with you when you've got the script a little ready to go, um, you know, ready enough to share maybe an early beta version, whatever you'd like to call it, um, and host that on ED Tutorials for you, give you a page where, you know, you can update as you're going, kind of like a change log of the different things you're doing and things like that comments interact with it i personally think that would be fantastic and a lot of people um would get a lot of value out of that i've got yeah when i get really finished with the profile a large aspect of what i really envision is something that will help uh, it will help everyone and that is really a true personality ai something that you can really talk to and have a conversation with and i know how i'm gonna do it the programming is there. It's just going to take time. Well, it's interesting you say that. There was just a question from um, from W. Farrell saying, does the lack of voice feedback prevent any kind of problem with such a customized voice command set? Uh, no, actually, I've got voice feedback quite a bit. I, You know, we can't hear it today because I've right. got it turned down a little bit. But uh, sometimes it's annoying and sometimes you want it. And I know things like EDDI, they've got, you know, a, a little program that comes with it and you can turn off 
add on what you want and don't want to, to be spoken. But kind of my vision is like, have that come up in conversation. Like if you're traveling to another system and you jump out of hyperspace and it pops up and tells you about the system, after a while that gets old. Mm -hmm. And so I would love to be able to, instead of going to a, an application and unchecking a check mark, check, check box, I want to be able to say something like, okay, you don't have to tell me that every day. You know, and have it understand you and, you know, keep track of conversations. I, I, There's even, so much that voice attack can do that I have not seen people challenge, you know, do yet. Yeah, so. I mean, you're almost building a natural language AI. I mean, you know, like, it's yeah. obviously a very rudimentary version, but, but basically that's what we're going to. And I have to imagine, you know, as just general technology progresses in, you know, 5, 10, 20 years, that's exactly what we're going to have. You know, we've already got, you know, yeah. we talked about our, our echoes and the ability to interact with those in in a more and more natural way. And as this kind of technology mm -hmm. progresses, it's just going to be more of that. It really will. The next 10 years is going to be quite phenomenal in the, the world of AI for sure. Well, and you've already seen, you know, as your, you know, as your disability has progressed and, and, you know, and, and you've slowly kind of degenerated over time, you've also seen technology do the opposite, right. And technology come along, right. That's enabled. I mean, oh, you, yeah. you know, t in, in, if you'd have been in this position 10 years ago, even five, maybe not five, but certainly 10 years ago, you wouldn't be doing this, right? I mean, you, you know, no. you, you wouldn't be doing this at all, right? You'd be very stuck. You'd be using Dragon because it's been around for a long time, right? So you'd be able to interact with the computer in some way, but to fly a spaceship and land it on a fucking pad with your voice, I just, yeah, <laughs> completely speechless. Yeah, that, that couldn't have been done a while back, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Gary over voice attack, man, he's just, I can't believe this much computing power is just 20 bucks. I, it's, it's, I mean, it's stunning. You know, and I think, again, I think of voice attack as a scripting tool, and I use it for macroing and stuff like that, but you just hit it on the head, right? Something that's this mm -hmm. inexpensive and completely changes what you're able to do. Yeah, and it goes so deep. You know, if you really dig into the, the programming side of, of voice attack, it, it goes so deep into Windows with the things it can do. Uh, it really is... I. I tell, you, I tell people all the time, voice attack is more than a program and more than a language. It's almost its own operating system. It's a voice input operating system. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, and and I'll say that, you know, I've barely even scratched the surface with it, but even the stuff that I've looked at it, every time I've thought to do so, I remember at one point, so I've got a couple macros set up in voice attack so I can change the game volume really quickly. So I've got buttons on my HOTUS, and I'm doing that right now, so I can hit on a keypad and go 100% volume, there's 100% game volume, 25% and 5%, yeah. and I was thinking, well, how would I do that? I guess I could do it with auto hotkey, or there's probably some command line in that, and all of a sudden, I was like, well, wait a minute, I looked in voice stack and bam, it's right there. You, It's like set volume and yep. you tell it what app you want, there what you volume go. you want, and it's just built in. I mean, it's just already there. And for, it I, is. I, yeah, you've hit the nail on the head. A $20 app, the extent of what's in there, it it's more powerful than, I Dragon can't do a lot of stuff voice attack can do, am I right? Oh, no. And, you know, Dragon has built in Visual Basic and it still pales, pales in comparison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this has just been amazing. And, and we, as I said a second ago, specifically the whole docking sequence you just did, uh, I'm going to break that out individually and make that, you know, its own, um, its own video. I wish I'd actually, if I'd have thought ahead of this, I would have gone completely full screen on your view for that. Um, but um, I'll definitely clip that out separately and share that with folks. Um, I, I also, okay. you know, a couple of people have said, I hope Frontier's watching. I definitely hope they saw some of this and I will make sure they see that segment as well as we got to Make sure the the voice chat guys see that as well, because I think they'd all get a huge kick out of this. Hello, Paige. I'm a big fan. 
I, okay, great. I'll make sure she if she didn't hear that, if she's not on. I haven't seen her in chat. Um, she might be on Twitch, and I haven't been watching Twitch chat quite as much. Um, but I'll make again. I will make sure it gets um, it gets in front of her. So, um, guys, at this point, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up. Jerry, this has been an absolute pr- pleasure. Um, Four Wolves is here in chat. It was Four Wolves that made the initial introduction between us to you know to to yeah. tell me about you and help set this up. So thank you, Four Wolves, for that as well. Um, we've been yeah we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now and it in my book it absolutely did not disappoint this has been great we're good i'm glad i appreciate you having me yeah and you know what i would love to let you know well I, in fact if you're up for it we'll absolutely do this again you know i would love to touch base with you a couple of weeks couple of months as you continue to progress through you know see what new things you've done in the game what new things you've done with voice attack um i i certainly would i'm sure everybody else would too i'd love to see you know how those updates go throughout your through and how much you, you know i meant to ask you before how much do you play a day roughly like what's your average kind of play time my average is about three hours a day. Okay. Okay. That's great. Right. You know, with that much, you'll be, yeah, you'll be, we'll have you in a fully engineered anaconda before no, no time. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> great. Great. So again, everybody, thanks for joining. Um, we do kind of have a tradition at the end of a, of a stream where we do CQC. Um, there's a good bit of folks in discord. Um, so we'll throw up and throw up the invitation, see if folks want to um, get a CQC match going. I'm not going to stream that. I'm going to chat with Jerry here some more um, after the stream, uh, but thanks everybody for joining by joining in again. I'll have that clip specifically separated from the, from everything on the channel later um, so that you guys and, and I hope it gets shared far and wide because, um, yeah, this is something people need to see. So, again, Jerry, thank you very much. You were a great guest, and this was a blast. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great. Take care, everybody. And, um, yeah, just quickly, um, next stream will be Monday night. Um, we'll do – actually, next stream will be next Tuesday night. I'm um, not sure what we're going to do just yet. Um, we're going to continue a little bit of an ongoing series with IMAX, who jumped in Discord with us just recently. Um, he's a brand-new player. We did hours three and four for him last week or week or so ago, whenever it was. Um, we're going to kind of continue that series, showing, you know, the view from a new commander. Uh, but next week, I'm not sure what we'll do yet. We'll find something. But the next event will be next Monday night. Um, 8 o'clock Eastern um, is Sidewinder Slaughter. That's again next Wednesday at 8 o'clock UTC for the uh, European folks. Um, If you've not done that yet, there's a video on the channel that explains it. Um, Stop by there. In essence, we all start in Bonestock Sidewinders. We blast at each other. Every time you die, you get to upgrade a module um, so you can do weapons, hull, shield, whatever you want. Um, Really, really fun. People are having a great time with it, so I hope you can come out for that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys Tuesday night. And again, Jerry, thank you very much, my friend. That was fantastic. Thank you.